Uh, maintenant, c'est temps d'accueillir M. Uh, Jean-François Claude um, to present on the overview of uh, his overview on tools, resources, and support services that can help managers take care of their own mental health uh, and better support their employees and teams. Um, Bonjour Jean, Jean-François, Jean merci d'être ici avec nous autres aujourd'hui. Um, and we're just going to try and bring your presentation up. Uh, hopefully uh, we'll don't have any technical issues in doing that. Yeah, no problem. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Michael, for, for that introduction. Uh, bonjour à tous et à toutes. Uh, merci beaucoup de votre uh, temps cet après-midi. Um, what uh, I'll be covering today very briefly, because I want to allow as much time as possible for questions, um, is, is around the importance of mental health self-care, first and foremost, uh, for you as managers, um, as well as, you know, some, some tools and some resources that are available to you um, to help support uh, the mental health of uh, either individual employees um, or the, the team as a whole. Um, D'abord, je commencerai peut-être uh, avec... Um, uh, parler un petit peu de notre centre d'expertise, peut-être que vous n'êtes pas familier avec. Uh, so the Center of Expertise on Mental Health in the Workplace is um, uh, part of OCRO at, at uh, Treasury Board uh, Secretariat. Uh, it was launched in 2017. Um, and essentially what the Center of Expertise does is that we um, help to enable and guide federal departments and agencies um, in their efforts to align with what's called the National Standard of Canada for Psychological Health and Safety in the Workplace. Um, donc, euh, la norme nationale sur la santé et sécurité psychologique en milieu de travail. Um, so, the center was launched in 2017, and um, uh, you can basically find out more information about our center by going to canada.ca uh, slash GC Mental Health. Um, so, there you'll find a bit of the history uh, around the center. Um, and uh, as well as sort of the genesis. Uh, so essentially our center came out of a joint task force on mental health between uh, Treasury Board as the employer uh, and bargaining agents. If we go to the um, next slide, um, actually we'll go ahead to, to the following one since I briefly touched on uh, the mission. Uh, what I do want to say is in terms of the context of uh, COVID-19, um, our team was uh, very quick to, to recognize uh, just based on, on you know, past experiences with uh, natural disasters, for example, um, that these types of events um, inevitably have psychological impacts, both in the short term and the long term. Um, so our center was, uh, was, was quick to, um, uh, to engage on, um, you know, the whole working from home, for example. I think the, uh, the, the first day we were uh, working from home after the declaration of COVID-19 as a global pandemic, uh, we put out some um, tips for managing your mental health while working remotely. Um, and within a matter of two weeks, we had launched a, a resource hub on um, managing mental health uh, during COVID-19. Donc, en particulier, uh, vraiment, c'est l'outil principal que je vous recommande de, 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 de vous y référer. Um, so this, this hub is really sort of the first uh, stop I would suggest you make in terms of looking for uh, tools, guidance, or resources uh, around um, protecting your own mental health, right, when we talk about uh, uh, self-care, uh, but also uh, there are um, subsections to our resource hub uh, that are specific for managers, such as, uh, en français, appuyer les employés et les équipes, uh, or supporting uh, employees and teams in, in particular, uh, would be your starting point um, on this hub. Si on procède à la prochaine diapo. So the golden rule really is put on your oxygen mask first. Um, so it really, it's important for you to look after your own mental health, because if you are not yourself mentally healthy, um, it, it makes it you know, that much more challenging, um, if not impossible, um, to, to start supporting others who may be struggling with uh, their mental health. Now, I, I do want to be clear about something. When we talk about self-care, um, real self-care is about going back to the basics. Um, and what I mean by that is it means, you know, proper nutrition, eating healthily, balanced meals. Um, it involves ensuring you get sufficient sleep. Um, I know some of us may pride on how little sleep we can get by on, 
Um, but sleep is actually critical to mental health and, and brain and cognitive functioning. Um, so the average adult should be looking at between seven and nine hours of sleep. Um, so if you are struggling with your mental health, take a look at what your sleeping patterns are and, and uh, put in place measures that might work for you to help improve your sleep. Um, exercise as well is, is critical to, uh, to self-care for mental health. Uh, and I'm not talking about, you know, necessarily going out and buying a Peloton or, uh, you know, equipping a home gym or anything like that. Uh, it can be as simple as a 15, 20 minute walk. Um, take a break during your work day, go for that walk, clear the mind, um, get the body moving. Um, and that is very helpful for, for mental health. Um, so I touched on exercise, sleep, nutrition. Um, and the other thing that's important too is social connection. So make sure to reach out to your support networks. Um, and as managers, so that also includes doing regular check-ins uh, with your employees. Um, so I'll give you an example of, of one tool that we have on our hub um, that uh, can be helpful for you to put together a self-care plan. Uh, so if we can move to, over to the next slide. Uh, we have, um, uh, there's a great website called um, stressstrategies.ca. And, and what I really like about this tool, uh, well, A, it's available in both uh, languages, um, but B is that um, it allows you to sort of develop your own personalized stress management plan. Um, so it can help you to, you know, identify what are the stressors that you're, you're experiencing and suggest some ways to help alleviate uh, those stressors. Um, so, you know, of course, you know, what self-care looks like to me may be different to you. What works for me won't necessarily work for you. So it is about self-awareness and, and, and knowing how to better manage your stress. Uh, prochaine diapo, s'il vous plaît. So in terms of um, supporting a colleague or an employee uh, that you suspect might be struggling with their mental health, um, you know, there's no silver bullet, but often what I hear is, well, I'm just not sure what to say. I'm concerned, you know, I might say the wrong thing. Um, so if there's an approach that we can sort of suggest to you, uh, it's based on this acronym ACTION. Um, so what you want to do is um, you want to approach the individual in a, you know, supportive, non-judgmental way. Um, and just share in, in a neutral fashion what you have observed in terms of um, changes in their behavior or in their work performance. Um, you, you, what you don't want to do is ignore it. Um, what will happen is when somebody is struggling with their mental health, uh, they may have a tendency to isolate and withdraw. So that might be something that you'll notice in terms of, you know, um, perhaps being late for uh, virtual meetings, um, just the level of participation of somebody is usually quite active during meetings um, and you've noticed over, you know, a couple of weeks or whatnot uh, that that participation has dropped down. It might be signs that there's something there. So you want to approach the individual and, and not ignore it and, and hope that it goes away. Uh, the C in action is for communicating uh, with empathy. Um, and so that involves active listening. Uh, it involves, you know, non-judgmental uh, listening. Uh, so, but it really is about opening the lines of communication. Uh, C'est important vraiment de d'ouvrir la porte à ces conversations là avec l'individu uh, qui vous soupçonnez uh, qu'on pose peut-être avec des troubles de santé mentale. Um, Team temper expectations. Um, so that can be also a form of accommodation in terms of uh, workload and, and what your expectations are of the employee. If they are struggling, um, it's important to have that conversation with the employee in terms of what supports uh, that they may require to, to help them do their job. Um, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's all about flexibility. And we've seen this during COVID-19 as well, you know, as as uh, many of us are struggling with, you know, homeschooling when, when schools are, are, are closed because of lockdowns uh, or stay home orders. Um, so flexibility really is, is key um, to, to, to managing your, your team as a whole. Uh, the I is invite participation. So again, uh, that goes back to the isolation, the withdrawal. Uh, so what you want to do is, is um, you know, sort of encourage uh, the individual uh, to re-engage uh, in, in whatever activities. Um, if it's an employee who's uh, on leave, for example, um, you know, uh, if there are things going on in the office, uh, it's important to have those, you know, lines of communication open with the employee on leave. 
Um, and to not hesitate to at least put the offer on the table if there's a team activity happening on Zoom or whatever on Teams um, and, uh, you know, to, to make them feel like they're part of the team still, you have to invite that participation. Uh, o is offer supports. Uh, so what's important here to remember uh, is that, you know, we're not expected as managers to be psychologists or counselors. That's not our role. Um, but, uh, you know, part of our role, I would argue, is knowing what are the support services available to Government of Canada employees and their families um, and, and pointing uh, the individual who's struggling with their mental health towards those resources and encouraging them uh, to make use of things such as the Employee Assistance Program, of course, which is sort of top of mind in terms of uh, the supports that we have to offer. Uh, and finally, it's about nurturing conversations, uh, so maintaining that ongoing dialogue. Um, this is particularly important, you know, uh, as many of us are all working from home, um, that uh, you have these touch points that are regularly scheduled. Um, and, you know, it, it may look a little different for some uh, employees. For some employees may only need, you know, a check-in uh, once every couple of weeks. Others might uh, need, uh, you know, uh, more regular check-ins. Uh, donc, c'est important d'être souple, uh, d'être flexible comme gestionnaire. Uh, et, um, and I would add that, you know, it's, it's, it's the days of having sort of a one size fits all management approach to how you manage the team. Um, you know, that's that's just no longer on. We really need to be um, as, as people leaders, setting the tone, setting the example and being flexible and understanding that, you know, each individual has something to contribute to the team. And it's a question of how do we leverage their strengths um, so that the team as a whole, you know, um, delivers on uh, the results that are expected. Uh, prochaine diapo. Donc, on, on a parlé de ressources brièvement. J'ai mentionné le programme d'aide aux employés, uh, the Employee Assistance Program, of course. Um, but there's a new resource out there that you may not be familiar with called Wellness Together Canada. Um, so, so this was actually launched by Health Canada, by the Government of Canada, uh, during COVID-19. Uh, and what it is, is essentially, um, it's an online uh, portal uh, for mental health and substance use supports. Um, and it uh, allows for free access, for example, to peer support, um, but also to professional supports, whether it's counselors or psychologists or whatnot, 24-7. Um, en français, c'est Espace mieux -être Canada. Uh, so uh, in the slides that have been uh, shared, you have the, the exact links there. Um, but there are tools, for example, just for sort of assessing your own mental health that I would encourage you to explore um, with reminders that you can uh, sign up for uh, to redo the assessment so that you can gauge your own mental health uh, along the way. Uh, so that's definitely a, a great tool. Um, and a third tool that I'd like to promote for those of you who um, whose departments or agencies have Health Canada as your um, employee assistance provider, um, you can access life speak videos and, and podcasts and a, a whole bunch of other multimedia resources um, that goes not just for mental health, but sort of general employee well-being. Um, so, for example, there are uh, videos around, um, you know, personal finances, for example, which we know can be a stressor uh, for people's mental health. Donc, euh, voilà euh, trois ressources là, euh, euh, que je vous encourage euh, à apprendre à connaître davantage. Uh, pour enfin pouvoir uh, en faire la promotion uh, auprès de vos employés. Si nous passons à la prochaine uh, diapo, je crois que, oui, une dernière uh, ressource que je vous encourage à explorer, uh, Workplace Strategies for Mental Health by Canada Life is, is a great website. Um, they have lots of resources and tools, uh, including um, uh, what I would call toolkits for facilitating team conversations around mental health in the workplace. Um, so I encourage you to check out uh, this site um, and you'll notice uh, there's a section there called Approaches for People Leaders, um, which is uh, exactly where I would suggest you, uh, um, I guess, begin your exploratory journey on this website uh, to access all of these great uh, uh, assessment tools and, and, and workshop uh, toolkits um, that can um, uh, help you in terms of having ongoing conversations with your teams around mental health uh, in the workplace. Uh, finalement, je crois que la dernière diapo, uh, c'est simplement une liste de ressources. Uh, donc, uh, les ressources que je vous ai mentionnées pendant uh, cette uh, brève présentation, uh, je les ai uh, énumérées ici. Uh, 
uh, ainsi que des ressources additionnelles. Uh, so uh, I do invite you to check out these resources um, when you have a moment. So uh, on that, I guess I will uh, turn the microphone back uh, to uh, to Michael and uh, I uh, await your questions. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much, uh, Jean-Francois, for sharing that. Um, certainly, um, the discussion on mental health and taking care of ourselves is something we have to continue to do uh, on an ongoing basis. So um, um, on apprécie uh, vos commentaires and um, your insight uh, greatly. Thank you so much. So we're going to open it again to uh, the floor to two questions. Um, if there are any for um, Jean-Francois um, to answer, uh, and if, uh, I do have one here. Um, so, uh, Jean, we, we know that uh, you've been very open with your own uh, mental health journey, sharing your your stories um, with with groups um, like the um, the Federal Speakers Bureau and uh, on mental health. And um, when it comes to self care strategies that work for you, are there any strategies that have that have that um, you want to highlight, or strategies that may have changed because of uh, how we're living now in COVID? Um, Est-ce qu'il y a des stratégies euh, d'auto soin qui fonctionnent um, pour vous et est-ce que les, ces stratégies ont changé euh, euh, depuis euh, le travail euh, de, um, pendant le, le, le COVID? Oui, merci beaucoup, Michael. Um, so, uh, when it comes to, to self-care, I mean, look, um, it's a challenge for all of us to, you know, find time, but it's important to make the time uh, in our busy uh, lives and schedules uh, for that self-care. Um, you know, for me, it's been, um, in some ways, actually, uh, COVID-19 has been a blessing uh, in that um, I manage ongoing mental health conditions uh, related to anxiety and, and depression. Um, and what the COVID-19 um, context has allowed uh, for me is that, uh, well, first of all, I, I get two hours back of my day that was spent commuting. Um, so I, I use that time for self-care activities. Um, I do make a point of uh, getting up and going for uh, an outdoor walk during the course of my work day. Um, and I find that that is helpful just to, even if it's just for 20 minutes, taking that break uh, away from the screen um, to, to enjoy the fresh air uh, as much as possible, um, you know, makes me come back feeling much more uh, refreshed and, and ready to take on the challenges uh, for the rest of the day. Um, so that has certainly been part of, of my own uh, self-care strategy. Um, and, uh, well, a bit of an, an, a personal anecdote, um, uh, you know, look into hobbies, uh, either ones that you abandoned uh, uh, that you'd like to take up again or take on a new hobby. Um, in my case, I'm, I'm quite fortunate and, and will recognize that I'm quite privileged to, to live out on a three-acre property, uh, a wooded lot. Um, and for the first time this year, I tapped maple trees and discovered how to make homemade maple syrup. Um, so that in and of itself was a very good activity that forced me to be outside to boil off all that sap. Um, so it, it's about hobbies, it's about taking time for self-care, um, and, and those are some of the ways that uh, I've managed my own mental health during the pandemic. That's perfect, thank you. Yeah, we kind of we put extra pressure on ourselves. I think, and we, we forget that, you know, we need to take care of ourselves, and we, we're, we're here in the office all the time, 24 hours a day for many, for many of us. So. Um, we start to feel a sense of guilt if we're not on the computer all the time. Um, so um, it's important to take a step back and, and take care of yourself. Um, uh, we've had several other um, sessions and virtual talks like this on mental health. Pour les gens qui veulent écouter nos enregistrations, les vidéos sur les autres um, discussion sur la santé mentale, vous pouvez, vous pouvez visiter notre, um, notre page de, de YouTube, the NMC uh, YouTube channel, where all our videos and recordings, including this one, um, are up uh, for us to view. Uh, maybe we have time just for one last question, um, Jean. Um, so, uh, we any suggestions for parents with young kids who feel they have less time, or basically no time, um, for themselves, um, or maybe even single parents who are, uh, I, I, I know that it's a particular pressure on, on, on parents this time of day, this time of year, many of them provinces where kids are home. So any particular advice for les gens comme ça? Uh, not, nothing top of mind, um, other than, you know, in, in the case of, um, 
of um, you know if it's a, qu a question of single uh, parenting um, you know perhaps there's somebody in your bubble that you can uh, count on uh, to to uh, come over and look after the kids for a little bit um, so so that might be one way of of, uh, of finding time for yourself um, you know unfortunately a lot of, a lot of that time is after the kids have gone to bed um, when we ourselves you know should be looking at uh, preparing for a good night's sleep uh, as well um, but I, I would point out, though, that um, uh, there, there is in our COVID-19 uh, and mental health resource hub uh, a section um, on uh, work-life balance. Um, so I would encourage you to check that out. Uh, there, there are some tips there. Um, and uh, I, I believe we point to some resources around parenting and COVID-19 uh, that may be uh, helpful to you. So that's certainly the first place I would suggest you, you check out and take it from there. I think you might be on mute, Michael. I knew I was going to do that once today. Um, yeah, you've already shared some great resources. We've done the same in, in some of our other events. Um, je pense que c'est tellement um, uh, important de, de, si on a des stress, si on a des problèmes à la maison, de, de partager ces stress avec nos collègues, nos collègues um, et, et nos amis. You have to share, you have to talk and, and get it out um, because you're not alone. Um, and uh, and yeah, so that's kind of the reasons why we're here at the NMC. We're trying to engage people and and um, have these conversations more often. Um, so unfortunately, that is all the time we have for for questions and for our session today. Um, je pense que on a déjà partagé les, les présentations avec tous les participants. Um, if you didn't get it or you have trouble opening the presentations, um, just let us know and we'll we'll um, try to uh, try to. Um, Get those back out to you and share those. So I want to thank all our participants, everyone on, on the line uh, and MS teams who's joined us. Merci à tous de participer à ces séances aujourd'hui. Um, uh, we hope that uh, the information that was shared is useful and helpful to you. I know we can't cover everything. Um, and again, we apologize for some of the technical issues we had, but these are challenging times for everyone and we're just doing our best to reach out. Um, so, um, uh, merci uh, aussi à mes collègues uh, avec le CNG pour avoir coordonné cet événement. Um, and uh, again, thank you to Crystal, Gilles et François d'avoir pris le temps de, de venir nous parler. Um, we at the NMC also hope that you join us at the next National Managers um, Connect virtual talk, which will be a panel discussion, discussion excuse me, on co-development, mentoring, coaching uh, on April 29th. So, um, yeah, so you will... You want to catch that? Nous, nous invitons à participer à notre prochain gestionnaire connectant uh, qui sera une discussion avec uh, un panel, un, un groupe en discussion uh, au sujet de COVID développement, le mentorat et le coaching le 29 avril prochain. Other upcoming events include um, uh, first of three events on workplace accommodations. Um, we have a workplace accommodation series um, starting on April 20th. Um, alors, uh, on a une session uh, de um, une série de sur les consultations en matière d'adaptation en milieu en milieu de travail qui commence le 20 avril. Uh, on a une autre discussion en groupe sur le um, l'insécurité ling linguistique qui uh, qui um, qui, uh, qui aura, aura lieu le 18 mai. That's an Atlantic session on linguistic insecurities uh, coming up on May 18th. Um, and um, and another session with um, with the clicks and tips um, community of practice uh, in regards to adapting to changes in technology, primarily MS Teams. So you can follow us on our Twitter handle at NMC underscore CNG um, for all the updates and registration details. Pour uh, toutes les nouvelles sur la CNG, suivez-nous. Um, sur la media social. Until next time, best wishes, a um, bon fin de la journée, et à la prochaine. Merci beaucoup.